Guys, welcome back to Southpaw. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see today, we are out with the Xeno Pro, the Hubson Xeno Pro. We're going to give the little bugger a range test. We're going to see if we can get her out to a thousand meters. It's a bit of an awful day, so it's, it's grey and the whole sky is, is one big cloud. So not the best weather for filming in, but not too bad for, for actually flying in because it's about two miles an hour wind, even at 50 metres. It's really, really quiet. So as you can see in front of us, there's a lot of flooding still left. This is Port Home in, U in the UK. It's the largest meadow, untouched meadow in England. It's about two kilometres uh, in one direction across and one and a half kilometers in, in the other. So it's a huge field with nobody about. So perfect to do a range test. Uh, about the center of the screen, you might probably just about make it out, is a, a railway bridge. I'll start some 4K recording and switch over to the 4K. But I'll leave the telemetry in the corner there so you can see what's going on. So we're gonna head out and head towards that bridge. There's lots of flooding there, as you can see. That whole field, this whole field was completely underwater about a week ago, but it's actually drained off. But the seagulls, there's, a, there's about a thousand gulls decided to make, their, make it their home for the time being. So we're passing out over 150 meters, rising up to about 35, 40 meters, just to make sure we don't get any birds in, in the face. And we're heading out towards the bridge. 250 meters. Just uh, line that up there with the bridge. You should be able to see the bridge there now in the, in the distance. So I've been flying this for about, about a week now. I've had this drone. I've done about two hours of airtime actually flying it. And it's not given me any cause for concern so far. The, still getting a little bit of a problem with the gimbal occasionally not being perfectly level. But um, other than that, absolutely no problems at all. It returns to home every single time I've, uh, I've pressed the button. Uh, it's not particularly accurate with its landings. It's probably four to six feet off most of the time from the GPS um, landing point, but that's close enough. I usually hand land it anyway. So we're up to 580 meters. Coming onto the river, that's the River Ouse there. You can see one of the, uh, the GNER trains crossing the bridge as we approach. Coming up to 700 meters. Still got perfect video feed on the, uh, on the screen there. Tiny bit of lag is starting to appear. 800 meters. Closing in on the bridge. I'd like to chase the trains and things, but this, this Xeno Pro just doesn't have the speed for it. Unfortunately, it's uh, sort of maximum speed seems to be about 10 miles, 10 meters a second, so pretty slow. Right, we're coming up on nine, uh, coming up on a thousand meters. There we go. We've just broken the one kilometer range mark. I'm going to stop it there, and we'll point down at the bridge and have a, have a quick look at the bridge. Check we've still got function yet. We've still got motion. Excellent. Right, so I'm going to initiate return to home from there. And you get you get three options of return to home. You can uh, return to the the home point where you took off from, you can return to the uh, transmitter if you've walked away from the drone and, and you want to land where you are, or you can uh, have it land exactly where it is. Not particularly useful, but maybe in certain circumstances that might be useful. Off in the distance there to the left, you can see the spire of St. Mary's Church in Gomanchester. I'm probably gonna have a, a closer look at that in, at, uh, in a future episode. We'll, we'll take the, the Xeno and probably the Seafly Faith out with a friend of mine and we'll get some closer images of that. But she's ingressing now. Screens the uh, FPV has glitched up there for a second. There we go. Let's just jump back. 720 meters, 600 meters, so she's coming back. I'm guessing the reception antenna is probably at the rear and the bottom of the drone. So she's, uh, not picking up quite as much signal on the way back as she did on the way there. But she's closing pretty fast, 9.7 meters per second. 430 meters. See if we can get a shot of these seagulls as we come over. There we go, taking off right on cue. Thank you very much, guys. Seagulls have, uh, have an altitude of uh, maximum of 50 meters. They've, they've all been uh, licensed by the local council. 
So here we come over the water and back to this is Gomachester Lock right behind us there. I'll do a, again, I'll do a video of that at some point as well. I think I've got some Seafly Faith footage from, uh, from my friend John um, of, the, of the lock, so I'll perhaps post that up as well. But we're closing in pretty fast. She, she drops altitude quite quickly down to about five meters and then she slows down. So I'll just point the camera straight down. I've got the, the apron search off because um, it's not managed to land on the apron at, at once yet. <laughs> I think they really need to, um, they need to have a firmware update for that, I'm afraid, that's working. But as you can see, we took her out there to a thousand meters and brought her back home safely, absolutely no problem. About 15 to 20% battery to get out there though. So bear in mind, the chances of you actually getting your four kilometers uh, out of this drone and actually seeing it again when it, if it ever, ever comes back to land are quite slim. So just, just bear in mind, you want to land at 20% when you've still got 20% left on your battery so you don't damage your battery. So just bear in mind that this might not be quite the long range ve uh, vehicle that it's actually built to be. But thanks very much for joining us for the range test. I'm Southport. I'll see you next time.